Hi, I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to show you how to use the glass eyedroppers in different ways that we use the wax. So I wanted just to kind of go over with you how to use them and how to clean them because we're using those in a lot of our different products. Our, our projects, excuse me, they need to be glass. That's the first important thing is they've got to be glass. They cannot be plastic because we are going to warm them up. We want to make sure that they don't melt. So it is real important that they're glass. And then go ahead and put the crayon into the low temp melting pot and warm up your glass as well on the eyedroppers just by setting your eyedroppers in the wax. This is one of those times that you really don't have to worry about the amount of wax in the melting pot. If you get a little bit more something that's not going to affect how much are the stroke like we normally do. So I'm going to put the, wax, the eyedropper in. I'm going to suck up the wax. Now I only want to bring the wax up into the tube. You don't want to bring it any further than that. And then just come on over and you can apply the wax however you're using it. Um, I'm going to use them on a lot of of uh, glass um, things as well as candles and different things like that. So however you're applying that, I do use that on some of my gourd pieces to apply different lines and things, especially like when I'm doing my leopard design or things like that. So there's a lot of ways you can play with this. You could even write with it a little bit. It wouldn't really be even, but you do have that. And you can see how much we got out of that little bit. Now I want to talk to you about the reason that you don't put the wax in the very back part. Um, when you're also done with it, squish all of the wax out of the bulb, make sure there's none up in the bulb and out of the tube. And you can wipe the outside if you want to keep it just a little bit cleaner and you will have the wax in the inside. Now, I don't try to clean these out for the next color. This is another item that we carry inexpensive enough that you can have one for each color. It's not worth the hassle to clean out. So that is basically clean and ready to go for next time. If you happen to get the wax up into the bulb, the bulb doesn't want to uh, push because it's got the dried up wax in it. You can, if it's possible to try and save that, open that up and try to squeeze or get as much of that wax out as you can. And then I will heat this up in my melting pot. I'll do one direction and then the other direction, melting it very, very well and getting that wax to go down so that we can use that uh, wax or the eyedropper again. So we just simply set it into your color if you happen to only have one eyedropper and say you needed to use a couple of colors, if you use like a yellow, green, and a green, that would be okay because they're similar colors. Just really squish it out again next time and before you try start the new color really well and you could do that. I have used that one for yellow, green, and green. So kind of like orange with red, orange, or red, orange with red, or different things like that if you needed to. But that is how we do use our glass eyedroppers. Uh, you can purchase them on our site at miriamjoy.com. Check out the YouTube link there where I'm going to be doing a bunch of fall videos showing you how to do candles and stuff like that with these as well on that link. So check all of those out. Thank you. God bless.